All right, we've got our blank centered. We're gonna drill it out. All right, we are completely through this little piece of wenge that I bought. All right, now we're gonna do a little bit of a glue up here. There we go. So I got this pen kit um, from PSI Woodworking. And the nice thing that I see about it, and I'm not sure that the camera will be able to pick it up, um, but the brass tube has already been pre-roughed up. So it's not a smooth brass tube like uh, I had in the kit from Rockler. It's actually uh, pre-sanded. Saves me a step. All right, so we're gonna use the medium CA glue here. And we're gonna coat our tube and the CA. Oh dear shit. Boy, that stuff's really glues in there pretty quick, don't it? I heard somebody else make a comment uh, in one of the videos I watched about how certain uh, wood, some of the chemicals or the, you know, whatever's in the wood itself, the tannins or whatnot, um, that they actually can react with the CA glue. And I would tell you that this, this little blank is warm. That's interesting to me. Like I can feel the heat of the glue. Well, there was no accelerator or anything like that, you know, used. It just, oh, it just went in and immediately got glued in. Luckily I got it all the way in. I'll have to watch that in the future. And since my last last video I managed to locate what I did with my barrel trimmer of course whether or not I even have the barrel trimmer of the proper size uh, I don't I don't believe I do but I don't know let's see oh, that's junk <laughs> well, this Oh yeah, by gosh that is, that goes in there. Hmm. I lucked out. Doesn't often happen. Most of the time I can't find the stuff I have. This time, I, not only did I, have I found it, but it's the right bloody size for what I need. Who, who could imagine? Now this barrel trimmer I ordered through Amazon from a place called Legacy Wood Turning Supplies is the supplier of it. And it's got a flat spot on it and then looks like it came with an Allen wrench. You just kind of tighten this down that keeps it from spinning. This is gonna be an experience here. Never had something this fancy. <coughs> hmm. I'll stick it in here. Hopefully I can hold on to this. That's neat. Oh, it's hot. Jeez. I'm almost inclined to put this in the drill press here. Yeah, I think I'm going to put it in the drill press because, hey, I don't want to have to hold on to it. Do it this way. I want to do it different. So let's swing you around. And we're still clamped. I didn't move anything here, so... Maybe I can even just put it right back in this vise. We'll see. We'll see. We shall see. That probably wasn't good. But
Nope, that ain't gonna work. Either that or it's just off center and I don't have it right in the right spot. Cool, cool, cool. Wow, this is going to be like professional. Professional. Well, it looks like I've got two sets of bushings that accidentally, oh, what the hell, get that back over here. Accidentally, it accidentally did that there. I didn't do that. Did I do that? Did I do that? That's the tip. I'm guessing that these two things here hmm are the parts that you have to meet up with man I got mm. this is another pen kit that I bought that I think is super bloody cool it's a I don't know Remington I don't know what they are the Henry repeater where it's got that and that's how you and when it's all in there together you do that and the pen comes out you do that again and it goes back in i think that's pretty cool i do yes i do mm -hmm. yeah i'm thinking that these black ones i bought with, for that kit and i'm thinking that these other ones here are the ones for the current kit And I think these must be ones that I bought for something else. The big question here that I got is, what do you do with all this space here? I don't have an adjustable man 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 And I don't want it that damn close anyhow. So maybe I can just put some of these bushings on here. Like this. I don't think those came with it anyway, but whatever. Maybe I can do something like that. Well, hell, I'm still too damn short. Do something like that. Now it's recording. Yay! Well, I turned the pen barrel apart or whatever and didn't get any of that recording. So we're going to start out with a little 150 here. All right, a pack of micro mesh sanding uh, pads. They came two, uh, two of the same grit in the pack. So I'm going to just start going through the grits. We'll just set this card up back here. And we'll start with the rust colored pad. Wow, that is really, really nice. That is, that is fantastic. I mean, that puts dang near glass polish on it just by going through those different pads. That is amazing. All right. It looks pretty good. All right, well, let's take it off the lathe and head back to the bench. Easier said than done, the way I got this in here, I see. Beautiful, beautiful. All right. I need something to go in there and bang that slide center out. I just don't have it. I just don't have it. You know what I'm saying? Whoa, oh, dear shit. There went the hammer. There went the hammer. There goes the neighborhood. There goes the neighborhood. There goes the neighborhood. Yeah, but uh, 
tap in there we're gonna try this I've got this punch thingy from my grandfather oh if it won't it probably won't fit in there will it if it will I won't get it out shoot it's not long enough I oh, probably need something bigger okay hopefully this long bolt I have will work Of course not why would it why and why would it right it's not long enough still of course here's my next problem anything I have that would be long enough to get in there is too long to get through there what am I gonna do now what am I gonna do now all right I found some other kind of ream thing something or another and it'll go in there and it bottoms out hey look at that woohoo now that I have a mandrel and uh, a couple more kits, I think I'm gonna have fun making some pens here. This is uh, this is quite intriguing. I really like how uh, how they kind of go together. The big question is whether it looks good or not. You know, well, this was made specifically for this pen. Now, which way should it go though? Hmm, this way or this way? Let's see here. It says not to press it together with this thing on it, so we'll unscrew that. I can't make up my mind which end. Oh shit, that just goes slide slid right into that end. That isn't good. What the hell? What the hell? Press that together. That don't take nothing. Press that together with my damn fingers. Well, let's put this pen together and see what it looks like here. I, I'm I'm so excited to see it. I think I'm excited. We'll see. What the heck here? This funny looking spring here that's for sure okay that goes like that this then screws in there like that and then this end here screws in okay and then you, you push down on the pen top and the pen comes out of the barrel okay and then you just push in on that that's cool oh, i like it it's got such a nice weight to it as well i mean let's see here there's the barrel that's the bullet there's the finish there. And let's see if you can see it rotate here. When you push down, the barrel turns and the pen comes out. And then when you go like that, the barrel rotates back the other way. Kind of cool. I like it. I think it would be even better if, and I know you can't because that's the mechanism, but if you could have this part here and that part match, I think that'd be really slick. But I, I can see that that's where, that's where the mechanism is at, and I, I think it's probably a little bit too difficult for them to manufacture that. So let's see how it writes. <laughs> Well, there's our shop buddy. Hi, Henry. How you doing? Glad to have you aboard for this episode of Hanging with Harv. Catch you next time.